In this video, we are going to talk about a special property of water called anomalous expansion of water. Right? Let me explain what's the meaning of that. You know, any of a liquid you take, for any of a liquid, when temperature rises, its volume increases. That's a common property for any of the liquid. But water has a specific property. Water is a different. It behaves differently. Not at all variation in temperature, but between 0 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade. Water has a peculiar property, a specific property, due to which when you raise the temperature of the water from 0 to 4, when temperature is increased from 0 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade, water instead of expansion that any other liquids do, it contracts. That specific property of the water is called anomalous expansion of the water. But be careful that property is limited only in between the degrees temperature 0 and 4 degrees centigrade. But above 4 degrees centigrade with rise in temperature like any other liquid volume of water also increases. So, what wa water has a normal uh, specific property, not every time, but only in between 0 to 4 degrees centigrade. That specific property of the water is called anomalous expansion of water. So, if you draw a graph for that, uh, for that property, taking Temperature on x-axis, volume on y-axis, with the rise of the temperature, volume decreases and it becomes minimum at 4 degrees centigrade. Further beyond 4 degrees centigrade, you raise the temperature, its volume increases. So that's a volume graph, right? And same parallelly, for the same, if you draw a density graph, that is, take the temperature on x-axis, density of the water on y-axis, when you raise the temperature 0 to 4, as volume decreases, you know the density formula is mass by volume, Mass remains constant, denominator decreases, so the total fraction increases. So, at 4 degrees centigrade, volume of water is a minimum. Be careful. Density of water is maximum. So, you will exactly get a reverse graph for the density. At 4 degrees centigrade, density of the water becomes maximum. This specific property of the water is called anomalous expansion of water. And let me tell you an application that where do you see this in your daily life? This anomalous expansion of water, where do you see it in your daily life? Let me tell you an example. Yeah. Imagine. There is a very cold place, cold country, and there are lakes of water, having a lot of water. So, it is a freezing out there. There is a cool air coming from outside. So, the temperature starts decreasing. Temperature starts decreasing, say, from uh, 6 degrees centigrade to 5 degrees centigrade, 5 degrees centigrade to 4 degrees centigrade. So, what happens at that 4 degree centigrade is volume becomes minimum, 
density becomes maximum density is maximum means that becomes a heavy so all that water who is having a maximum density at 4 degree centigrade reaches the bottom so this is where all that water stays so here the temperature is what 4 degree centigrade further temperature decreases from 4 to 3 degree centigrade density is less but not as less as 4 degree centigrade that is a little more than that of 4 degree centigrade so what happens is next layer of water that is at 3 degree centigrade will be here 3 degree centigrade further temperature is reduced because of the cool air that is coming from outside imagine a cold country so the temperature goes to 2 degree centigrade when the temperature goes to 2 degree centigrade that's density is even reduces but the, de the density is little more than the density of this uh, 3 degree centigrade so the water will be here having 2 degree centigrade on the top of that you can have a water on the top of that you will have a water of 1 degree centigrade on the top of that you will have a water of 0 degree centigrade on the top of that you can have a water at minus 1 degree centigrade minus 2 degree centigrade minus 10 degree centigrade that will be keep on happening but if you notice one thing carefully uh, at the bottom of the lake there is water with 4 degrees 3 degrees 2 degrees 1 degrees on the top only there is further 0 degree and what happens on the top is actually this part the upper part at above 0 degree centigrade the lake because of negative temperatures it freezes up but if you see even the upper surface of the lake is freezed the lower surface is not freezed because here you having you are having a temperature of 1 degree 2 degree 3 degree and 4 degree as i have told therefore it is not freezed on the top it is freezed on the top but it is not freezed at the bottom so what happens because of this is all aquatic life like fish and so but all the animals that are there in water are able to survive how do they are able to survive because aquatic life needs oxygen from water fish can absorb oxygen only from water not from ice so water has to be available so this anomalous expansion of the water is a blessing for all aquatic life which is able to be survived in cold countries under cold temperatures if water is not having this specific property anomalous expansion of the water then this aquatic life is not going to be available under the water so all aquatic life survival under freezing conditions can be explained basing on anomalous expansion of water so this is the property due to which density of the water is maximum volume of the water is minimum at a temperature 4 degree centigrade between 0 to 4 liquid water doesn't expands rather it contracts that particular property is called anomalous expansion of water that's it thank you for watching